Well, this is unlike anything that we've ever seen before. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we got 17 mods for you for all platforms. We have nine new and five updates for PC and Mac players who have one new and two updates. I do make mod review videos every time they're released on the end game mod up, so get subscribed if you're new. That way you never miss any new or updated mods. Starting off today with what is basically a game changer for pallets and console players and everything in between the Global Goods Transport Palette from 82 Studio. Now, this is really neat. You've got four different pallets with this. You've got uh, the Global Goods Transport Palette and the Global Liquids Transport, and then you've got a bag version. Now, in the game right here, we've got a bag version there, and then I've got a pallet version here. Basically, what these do is they accept everything quite literally everything and they include i think it's like 10 or 15 different productions as well so if you guys have something like the grain mill plus installed well they're going to be able to get everything from that mod all you do is just get really close to something as a matter of fact i had to keep that away from this because it started loading it in here so i had to keep it far away uh, it's it literally it's insane if you have to ask a question like okay well how does it work yes Yep, yep, it works like that. Think about it like a tipper trailer. Come over here with your combine harvester and dump into it, and it'll load it up. It'll also load up to 200,000 liters as well. Also, you don't need heavy lift. You can see right here, rented by me, because I have leased this, and well, I can pick it up and move it around, do that kind of thing. And come over here, I've got this. I've got the, actually, you can see it's, it's going down again because I'm too close to the other pallets. So I got to get away from it. It's uh, also it's got a little little jiggle jiggle. You know what I'm talking about right there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Of course, it's farming simulator physics, so it's not completely like a bag, but 82 Studio did his best. And you can also use it with, yes, F11 and power tools. So if you guys are doing that, now we can unhook here and you can say, it says attach. What? Yup you actually get the forks that attach. So no matter if you're using a front loader, skid steer, telehandler, anything like the wheel loader even, it'll just attach just for fun. I'll come over here. It doesn't matter which side I attach to, it just attaches just like that. Now you can also with this one, you can, oh, there's my FPS counter. You can close the cover. So if you close the cover, then it doesn't work like it normally does. You need to make sure the cover is open for this one. But at least you've got that option if you really want to. Again, pick it up from any side. So if I want to pick it up from down here at the very end, boop, and now I've got it. Because it doesn't hardly weigh anything. Um, actually, it doesn't say how much it weighs there. Maybe this one says how much it weighs. Nope, it doesn't say how much it weighs, but I don't have heavy lift turned on. We'll go in here, toggle super strength. Now it's enabled. And then we'll do the same thing here. Now it's disabled and I can still pick these up because they only weigh like a hundred or a thousand kilograms, something like that. It's ridiculous. I, I, it's really hard to explain things that it doesn't do. Um, one thing, if you're trying to load in maybe like seeds or fertilizer or something from a pallet with one of these, what you want to do is maybe put this down and then get that pallet close to this. When you do it like that, a little bit easier. Now, 82 Studio does have a full-fledged video on his YouTube channel. We'll leave that link below so you guys can check this out in its full, full glory. But basically, this is a auto-loading thing that that is just, well, it's just awesome. And of course, slot counts for console players because I totally didn't forget that until just now. Uh, seven, eight, six, and six. Next up, you got the Lizard T25 a now this has got 30 horsepower manual transmission 53 liters of fuel 14 miles an hour 2.5 ton weight on here we've got lizard brand of lizard high and lizard low so you can drop that thing down to the ground if you really want to we've also got a wide track set on there so if you want a little bit wider back and forth to standard same thing here that's pretty cool uh front weights you got a 40 kilogram 80 120 or nothing if you really want to you can even have a front attacher on there if it means anything to you wheel weights we have separate wheel weights which is very nice front fenders you can do metal plastic or nada back window well there's 
A little little thing right there, yeah. Uh, back working lights, yes or no. Mud flaps, you got short or long or nada. Covers, yep, you can throw covers on the very front. Attachers, should have some different attacher types, yeah. I mean, they're there. I think you can pretty much do the same thing with both of them. But visually, of course. Uh, cabin, yeah, absolutely. You can throw a cabin on here if you want to. Hood and front lights, yeah. Got different, yo. Yup, that's gonna be cool for role play. That's awesome. And then we've got different engine options right here as well, manual or automatic. Now, getting into colors, hope you like reds and grays because that's what we've got here. A um, lot of different reds there. We've got stuff for the dummy door right there. Um, or grilled dummy color. I'm not really sure exactly what they're meaning by that. Uh, different wheel weight colors. We don't have any weights on here. And then rim colors, lastly. All kinds of really cool stuff here. Then we do have something very similar to this already. We have the T25A, but uh, it's not exactly the same. I do think it's by the same model though. Got another man truck for you. The MAN TGX 26640 HKL. The hook lift on here. Uh, a lot of stuff that you would expect. 640 horsepower engine. We do have different things like grills and hoods and all that kinds of stuff. Beacons, yep, we got different beacon lights on here as well for you guys. Main color. You change up to like blue, so we'll go with that. And then design color, you got all these as well. Let's go with the green. Oh, that's on the back? Yo, change that up to pink. Oh, that was rim colors. Well, design color's gonna be yellow now. Yeah, there you go. Hey, it's a baby reveal. I haven't done one of these in a while. And then, of course, you got your license plate. That's really it. Um, as far as specs, 490 liters fuel, 49 miles an hour, 9.7 tons, 14 slots on console. Not too bad. Next up, actually, every other new mod today for all platforms is replaceable. But these are pretty sweet. The North American Shed Packs. These are from BC Bullet Farms and Serious Mods. Let's see if we can go in here, take a little peek. Look how good this looks. Coming in here, we can open up from the inside. It didn't look like we could open up from the outside. Uh, there's two versions. The one that we've chosen here has the back door on there. Oh, we're going to have to open these individually, aren't we? Yep. So this one's got two doors, one at the front, one at the back, but the other version only has one. And then we've got a version right here with different setups. We open both these, open them both separately. So this is a complete drive through here. If we go in, we could take a look and see that we have different versions. So like this one's got red, then we've got one with white on it, maybe a dark green, um, polished blue, another blue yellow but we can also change up the main color here so if i want like a black building with a red trim you could do that i think it looks really good as i was mentioning here's a version right here of your uh i don't know the onset building without a rear door on there and these you cannot change up the colors too we also have the slurry storage right here from dutch modding inc so we have the slurry storage with three layers as you can see here on the left on the right, we have the four layer version. If we go in, these are easy to find in silos. Boom, right here they are. So 540,000 liters for the three and then 730,000 liters for the four le uh, level. 70 grand, 94 grand, not too bad. Slurry storage. Here's an interesting one, the foil tunnel. This is from Michael LS. And uh, well, it's really just for doing whatever you need to. Strawberries, lettuce, tomatoes, what you want. You got it all right here. So we've got a couple different sets here. So we've either got two liters of water in or one and one. So tomatoes are one to one, two to one ratio on lettuce and one to two on the strawberries. Very cool there. It's just a greenhouse at the end of the day. Easy to find, go into production, go down into greenhouses, foil tunnel right there. And then all of your inputs look to be down here. Nope. That's your output. Well, there you go. Here's the mod that was teased a little while ago, and it is here. The indoor silage shed from Steve's Mods. It's a large green panel silage shed. Price is going to be $120,000. Daily upkeep, 40 bucks per day, and it's got working lights on the inside as well. We've got a little switch right here, and that's it. They're even animated. That's pretty cool. This is easy to find as well. You just go into your buildings, go into silos, and it's going to be found right here the bunker silo medium 12m by 28m we also have a small horse stable from barts and v3 a small stable for horses with a run on it price is going to be 20 grand daily upkeep 25 bucks per day the doors do open which is nice and it's got room for five different horses how cool is that so coming around through here we got the door here oh watch out don't 
Don't get knocked in the noggin right there. We do have a door here on the side as well, so we can open this up. Same thing there. If we want to back out of here, get some horses, five horses, as mentioned. Food goes in the trough right there, and I assume we'll have an opening gate here. Yes, we do. How neat is that? Plus water on the inside. This is kind of nice, especially if you're doing something a little bit smaller, maybe European. Also an old American farm, this would work well too. And your last new mod today for all platforms is going to be the old post-German wood barn. We'll go ahead and go in here. It's going to be $20,000 for this. 15 bucks per day. We do have a complete drive through area right there. Some tools in here. I don't think we can pick these up. Nope, can't pick. <gasps> you can pick them up? Hang on. I got a shovel! I'm gonna throw it on the roof. Go, 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 go. Yay! That did not work. Uh, but you've got stuff around in here. Uh, we'll go ahead and shut that door right there. It looks great. The old wood, it's all blackened and everything. It has definitely seen some stuff. You guys want to check it out. The old post-German wood barn. Now, making our way into some mod updates for all platforms, we have a Big update to the Maypole farm map from Cavalier Roy. It's going to be a good one, so sit down and relax. Version 1.2, they fixed the Karma A-team position, fixed the manure clamps clipping into the feeding robots, fixed the silage clamps, minor terrain fixes, fixed the floating trees, also moved some trees to improve visibility on both first and third person views. Of course, if you're in, well, yeah, I can't do third person at console unless you're on a tractor. They've got some uh, Disturbed Simulations UK growth calendar implementation. They have, Disturbed does a really good job with that. They also added a floodlight to all houses. If kind, will remove Sen House and all items around it. Also, all land within the playable area is now purchasable. Great there. Large animal pen was increased capacity for animals, milk, slurry, and food added to the building menu. 11 sheds have been added to the in-game build menu. Stone wall and hedge has been added to the in-game build menu. Some XML files have been updated to use the functions introduced in the 1.5 patch, such as storage bins having the ability to jump to them. I also added the ability to cut a light at the garage to remove all deco trees, so oak, birch, etc., leaving only forestry trees to cut down. That is huge. They've also added the ability to cut a light at the garage to remove all field-based hedges. So if you wish to rather cut each section away, so like hedges around your pastures will not be removed, but can be cut away if the land is owned. We're not done yet. Some trees replaced with more common iris trees, such as elm and all spruce trees have been replaced with pine trees. The placeable areas have been added for you to purchase and use to however you want to. They also got a post inside the hedges made collinable. Uh, this will stop the post dropping through the map after being cut away. Hedges can still be driven through, but will stop bales, pallets, and logs from passing through them. So know that. We got five new fields added as well as multiple field sizes extended. Production points, storage capacity increased for both input and output productions. And the PDA has been updated, which improves dirt and road visibility. Uh, you probably figured it out by now, but if you haven't already, you will need a new save game. Goodness gracious, that's a big update. A little bit of a smaller update here on the John Deere 1590 in tandem. This is going to be version number two from Serious Modding. Added tandem drills and improved turning radius for single drill. The Prenneth Wheel Loader Levelers also got an update to version 1.001. They fixed a bug that the wheel loader tilts backwards when touching silage. Animals Placeable Pack from Puma 145 got an update as well. Now this is going to be version 1.1. They've added pastures from Goldcrest Valley to this. So we got Goldcrest Valley Chicken Coop, Goldcrest Valley Cow Pasture, Pig Enclosure, and Goldcrest Sheep Enclosure. If you guys are playing on Goldcrest Valley, you may want to download this. And your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be... Barn! It's going to be version 1.1. Mod description version has been adapted. Storage capacity has been increased. And miscellaneous adjustments. Ooh! Alright, making our way over to some mods for PC and Mac players. First one is the Euromilk Viper 1600. This is a feed pusher, so it's used to push maybe TMR into the uh, cow trough. It can also be used for leveling chaff into a silo, as well as straw or hay equations um power requirement 30 400 kilograms 1.6 meters at six miles per hour also i just realized i haven't had to clean up my animals in a while is that a thing in farm sim anymore 
<laughs> Why am I just now realizing this farm sim's been out for like nine months? Now we do have two mod updates for PC and Mac players. Let's take a look at those real quick. The first one is the production revamp productions from uh, Tethy S. Saturn. It's going to be version 1.2.1. Modified the internal storage and production line of the Lime Factory. They've also added visibility stacks of empty pallets at the greenhouses and needed revamp version adjusted. And your last mod today, we've got another big update to the Universal Autoload mod from Loki79. This is going to be version 1.2. They've added a bell collection mode, added an option for rear loading and unloading only, added support for the auto loading pallets into the train. So this is vehicle carriage only, mind you. They've added an icon in the shop configuration page to show when auto load is active, added the global option manual loading only for a less cheaty auto load light option, added global option for charge per pallet load. So example, like price per pallet equals like 10, something like that. They've also added disable auto strap option, for global or per vehicle. That's kind of nice. Added no loading if cover or uncovered options for trailers with covers. Added multiple loading zones. So step decks can now load to both areas. Added loading of objects by hand, so small objects or by super strength. Added new console commands. See the readme file for more details on that. It could be found if you download the mod and then unzip it, check it in there. It's in there. Also, they've implemented the function to correctly remove event listeners. Credit to GTX for that one. Well, there it is, guys. That is it for today's new mod video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, and join the GoHand fan. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of daily videos, I think daily Let's Plays are back. I'm going to try and get videos out for those as much as I can, at least for like 10 days in a row, and then we'll kind of take like a I don't know a couple day break and then we'll go back into season three of that something like that either way uh we will have a let's play coming out later today stay tuned otherwise have a good one see you later peace